So let's get to some of the playback menu functions now that we've okay, looked good. at uh, the playback um, of the images. Icons. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have you know gotten through some of that quick feature, uh, if you do push the menu OK button while in the playback mode of the camera, uh, you'll notice that now you have a, a bunch of other options. So I quickly talked about how you can erase one image very quickly. In the menu system, if you go to the erase and you push the directional pad to the right, you can actually have a choice of deleting the one frame that you see, and now you can actually delete all the images on the camera. So pushing this button here will delete images. Of course, you will have a confirmation screen that comes up, um, so you would have to push left, push OK again to delete all the images. So in this case, I'm not going to delete any of the images, I'm just going to keep them here for now. Um, there's also a red eye removal feature on the menu system, so if the camera detected some faces and you had the red eye feature turned off on the camera, you can now go back into those images and remove the red eye if it does exist in the, in the image itself. You can rotate the images now through the uh, pushing down and selecting the image rotate option. You can protect the images. So uh, what I like to do a lot of times when I do give my camera to someone else to take a look of, to like, take a look at the pictures, is just to protect them so that if they do accidentally push the delete button or whatnot, I'm not going to lose all my vacation mm -hmm. pictures. Especially when CUDs these days go up to about 16 gigabytes. I mean, you can have several vacations in that CUD. Yeah. It's always safer just to protect the images before you go and start playing around with the images uh, themselves. Yeah, here's another one that I do with that is sometimes... I will um, take, let's say, 30 pictures, and I know there's three or four pictures that I might want to keep showing people over the next several months, so I'll protect those four pictures, mm -hmm. and then when I erase all the pictures, I know that those four are still there. And then I might take another 50 pictures, and out of those 50 pictures, I might want to save five, and now I've got nine protected images on my card, so no matter where I take my camera, I've got those pictures to show my friends or whatever from those uh, special few that I had left. Well, thank you, Greg. Um, what's kind of unique on this camera is that it does have an internal memory. So if you forgot to put your card in and you took a few pictures uh, from the camera and you wanted to have those pictures, you can actually copy the images from the internal memory to your external memory card by going through the copy options. And there's different options in here that you can go through. So if I go in there, I can select um, if I want to copy into the external CUD, or I can have the option to copy images from an external CUD that I place into the camera onto the internal memory. So if a buddy of mine you know, had a different camera and he took a great picture and I wanted it, I can just take his CUD, stick it in my camera, and select the copy option and copy the images back onto my internal memory. So I have it there, so later on, you know, I can download it to the computer, or I can take his card out, put my card back in, and now copy the internal memory back onto my card. So a, a great little feature that, that I've actually used several times yeah. and when I was out with the friends. And, and again, everyone has a digital camera these days. So, mm -hmm. Okay, um, another interesting feature that you know, is great for going vacation is this voice memo feature. You're off to a great little place. You're not sure exactly where it is. You know... Um, and then you find out all the information about the place, you take that picture, right? Just in case you don't forget, you can actually add a voice memo and say, you know, hey, I'm going on vacation and I'm at the Eiffel Tower here. You click OK, it records, then it saves. Uh, you get about, I think, about 30 seconds. To yeah, do that. and then when you look at those pictures in the Fine Picks viewer, it will tell you that there's a voice memo attached and you That's can right. play that voice memo right in the Fine Picks viewer. And whatever you happen to say into it will will say it and it will actually I believe work in the slideshow mode as well I, in Fine Picks Viewer so. so that's that's a great little feature to have and like I said again um, voice memos if you think about following the images later on and you're not sure where you took those pictures that's a great feature to use it with, yeah. with a lot of people level. use digital cameras for work as well Billy I mean most people are using them for vacation but mm -hmm. you know uh, if you go to a trade show and you need to take a picture of something interesting you can just simply leave a quick voice memo to remind you you know what company that was or that's what have right. you there's many many reasons why you'd want to use it that's, it's a, a, great that's a very good point have. actually especially for insurance guys who are taking pictures of something and, and mm -hmm. want to add a comment to that to that image and that's a great little feature to have Okay, um, there's also a trimming feature on the camera, and what that really means is that I can crop the image in the, in the, Im in the, in the, uh, in the playback mode. So if I have an image I like, and I want to zoom in, I can push 
and I can pan left and right, and then when I'm happy with that, I push the OK button, and I push record, and it's going to trim that image for me. Now, the great thing on this feature is that it's going to keep the original image, but give me a copy of that cropped trim fe uh, feature on that. Of course, you can always do that on the computer as well. So yeah, but I think options. I like a lot of different things, being able to do it in the camera. It saves you time. Okay, the last feature that we have here is the resize option. And if you're, you know, sort of a, a you know, these days when you go online now, you're like a YouTube type of uh, Facebook poster. You don't want to send these images to be too big. So you can actually resize the images internally in the camera to set it up to be a, a VGA resolution of 640 by 480, which makes it very small and very fast to upload to, to one of these social networks. And same as with the trimming mode, it saves your original high-res image and creates a duplicate copy that's the small resized image. That's right. And that smaller resized image, again, is great for emailing, uploading to your Facebook, or putting to PowerPoint. So that's great. We've now successfully gone through all the menus in this fantastic F200 camera. Um, Billy did a great job. For all of you out there that have bought this camera, thank you very much. Uh, if you go to our website, fujifilm.ca, we have lots of other resources for you as a Fuji customer. And uh, thank you very much. I'm Greg Poole from Fuji Canada. And I'm Billy Luong, and together... We're the Fuji guys. See you around. Thank you.